I do robotics. I, my, my specialty is in an area called kinematically redundant manipulators. And, and what that means is working with robots that are uh, a bit more like humans or a bit more uh, anthropomorphic in terms of their capabilities. So they have a lot of joints like we have, a lot of degrees of freedom, a lot of capabilities for motion, dexterous motion. And you need that, but uh, along with that inherent capability, you need to somehow control it and use it for the, for the sorts of things that make sense. And so that's where my work lies. It's sort of a supervisory control of robots where uh, you try to get the maximum benefit out of the mechanical system that's there. And uh, you can use that for uh, things like in a factory environment where uh, you're doing dexterous assembly or you're doing operations like spray painting or whatever where you need intelligence with a robot uh, make sure that it doesn't run into things, you know, there's obstacle avoidance. Uh, and most recently my work is focused on using all of that extra degrees of freedom for building uh, fault tolerance systems. And this is especially important for uh, unstructured environments. So for example in space or underwater or for a hazardous waste cleanup which has been uh, uh, one area that we focused on a lot in the past few years. Space exploration, you know, is one in which robotics will help a lot. You're seeing, you know, the unmanned space probes are sort of critical to the space program. And sort of more recently, like with the World Trade Center bombing, uh, you're seeing that urban search and rescue operations are, are becoming much more prevalent and uh, I think robotics can play a big role in that. In fact, they did in the, in the World Trade Center bombing. That was, uh, I think, one of the first cases where you saw uh, that, that robots were one of the first responders and were able to go into areas that humans weren't and were able to get uh, video uh, images into places that were inaccessible. So I think that uh, you know, working in areas like that where you're, where you're in very unstructured environments and yet you need the, uh, the sensory capabilities of a human and the dexterity of a human uh, and yet uh, you don't want to put people under, under those conditions, I think those are the areas where robotics is going to play a huge role.